Controlling the operation of ship and care. Risk assessment. Accident hazards. Fall from ship into water, falling overboard, fall from ship structures, fall from gangway into water or onto pier, fall in stormy weather, cave in by cargo, ESP, bulk cargo, while working in hold, struck by falling objects, striking against ship structures, struck by moving objects, caught and entangled IR, mooring lines, cargo or machines, overexertion, bums, severe cold injury, electrical shocks, injury due to fire, explosions and implosions of pressure vessels and lines, cuts, stabs, and amputations, caused by sharp parts or mechanisms. Physical hazards exposure to radiation due to direct sunlight, exposure to microwave electromagnetic fields, M, EMF, emitted by ship radar and communication, equipment, vibration causing ear damage, exposure to excessive incessant noise, exposure to cold, heat, high humidity, squall winds, torrential rain etc. and exposure to heat while working or resting. Chemical hazards. Exposure to chemical substances used on ship. Exposure to chemical substances carried by ship or cargo. Biological hazards. Exposure to biologically active, INCL. Poisonous, substances, carried by ship as cargo. Exposure to toxic marine living organisms, while working on deck. Chronic poisoning and diseases caused by contaminated food and portable water communicable diseases transmitted by pests etc. Risk of communicable diseases transmitted by another crew members or contracted ashore, tuberculosis, sexually transmitted diseases, INCL, AIDS, syphilis, etc., hepatitis A and B, respiratory infections, etc. Other factors leading to hazards, trauma disorders especially of upper extremities and back, caused by handling of heavy loads, and by continuous strenuous deck maintenance, work factor of physical and physiological discomfort, caused by crowded and unstable living environment aboard ship, psychological stress and personal problems caused by exposure to seafaring dangers, separation from family, sleep and rest abnormalities etc. Problems of interpersonal relations with other personnel on board. Monotonous and boring character of duties, ESP. Aboard highly automated ships, resulting in loss of alertness. Lastly, exposure to typical hazards of various places while in ports such as crime, drugs, prostitution, etc. In every activity that is carried out on board the ship there is a risk attached to it. The risk involved could lead to an accident or injury if it is not controlled. The basic approach to risk assessment is to identify the risk involved in each activity. Once the awareness is created of the risk involved the next step is to eliminate or minimize the risk by introducing control measures. Listed below are the risks involved when working aloft on the mast. Slipping and falling down from the mast while climbing. Losing balance when leaning across and working on the mast. Collapsing with shock when hearing the fog horn blowing on the foremast. Getting frostbite when working on the mast in cold weather. Work can be hindered due to strong winds and vibration of the mast. Tools slipping and falling down can cause injury to crew standing down below. Foreign body entering the eye while working. Alteration of course can cause the crew member working aloft to fall down. Control measures for the above risk are listed below. Complete permit to work. Wear working clothes suitable for the prevailing weather conditions. Wear personal protection gear such as safety shoes, helmet, goggles, gloves and safety harness. Do not carry any tools in the pockets. Inform the bridge prior to climbing up the mast. Proper communication established by means of walkie-talkie. Course altered if necessary to steady the vessel and minimize relative wind velocity. Additionally the speed can also be reduced to achieve the same effect. Fog horn not to be used while the crew member is on the mast. Additional crew member stand by on the forecastle for assisting and communication. Heaving line well secured and slung on the shoulder through the arm of the crew going up.
Check each step to ensure no broken rungs and then place one foot at a time on each rung along with a proper hand grip on the sides of the ladder. Check the condition of the platform before putting the weight on the platform. Secure the hook of the harness to a strong point on the mast. Lower the heaving line to pick up the tools which are placed in a bag. Keep the bridge informed of the progress of the work. On completion of the work and when the crew member has come down from the mast and form the bridge. Ensure all tools are lowered down below. With the above mentioned control measures in place after the risk assessment is carried out the work can be carried out in a risk-free, controlled risk environment.